Hey guys, my name is Sammy, and today let's do a classical intermediate reformer. So if you have a reformer, come and join me. Just when in doubt, leave it out. Yeah, you're your own teacher, so you know, play it safe. This could be dangerous. I am starting out with four heavy springs, and if you need to drop one, you can, depending on your body. Okay, so let's get started. You're gonna line yourself up diagonally. You're gonna genie those arms and lower yourself down with control. And you're gonna make sure that you have some of your butt cheek into the well. You'll lie onto your back, swing your legs up to the foot bar, starting in your Pilates stance, heels together, toes apart. Try to get your pinky toes up there. And 10 times, let's go 10 and come back in. Nine and back in. Think about trying to stretch the springs all the way back versus slamming the knees down. Let's go five more. Five, four, try to keep the carriage moving. Three and two, resist on the way in. One, change, you're gonna go to your arches. 10, you're still stretching the springs, coming all the way in without banging it. Lengthen, you wanna lengthen the front of the hip. Let's go five more, five, four, three, two, one. Change onto your heels. Press, oop, I'm gonna slip and <laughs> come back in. Out, two, three, in, two, three. That's the, the best rhythm. I was kinda of going a little bit faster. Think about pushing the ball of your foot forward slightly as you press out and come back in. Four more, because I lost count. Four, three, two, and one. Tendon stretch. Back to your Pilates stance. Try to get those pinky toes up there. Press it out. Now you lower three, two, one, three, two, one. Down, 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 up, up, up. Down, 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 up, up, up. Really keep trying to wrap just below your butt cheeks towards each other this way. Five more. Five. Keep the carriage moving. Four. Three. Two. One, lift the knees, come all the way in. So you're gonna lower your foot bar with your feet. If you have locks on your foot bar, you'll rock yourself up. If you don't, then you can use your feet, lower it down, and grab the handles. Knees into your chest. If you need a little space between your shoulder blocks, feel free to take it. From here, you're gonna lift your head and straighten your legs. Inhale, find your working position. And you can go into your Pilates stance if that's what you want to do, or you can stay parallel. Let's go exhale, two, three, four, five, in. And out, two, three, four, 20, in, two. And out, two, three, four, 30, in, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, 40, in. Out, two, three, four, 50, in. And exhale, two, three, four, 60, in. And exhale, two, three, four, 70, in. And out, two, three, four, 80, in. And out, two, three, four, 90, last one. And exhale, exhale, exhale. <sighs> Empty your lungs, bend your knees, bend your elbows, and rest your head. Going into short spine massage, you'll take both handles into your right hand, rock yourself up, swing your legs to the side, try to keep your feet in the air if possible. I took off my two inside springs, so you should have two heavy springs on now. And you'll spin, lie down, lower your head rest. And now you'll put your feet in your short loop. So I have leather straps, so I pull the strap through my handle. And I hold them at the back with those loops there. Now you wanna try to bring your feet to your handles. Up, they go in, heels together, toes apart, come into your frog position and glue those heels together. Now try to get your ankles and your knees in line. I'm not really sure if I'm there, but you, we're all gonna do the best that we can. And you're gonna inhale, press out, hold your breath. Lift up to go over. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, roll the spine down. You're articulating, but you wanna go longer and longer 
and longer back to home. Inhale, hold your breath, lift. Exhale. Now, inhale as you start to roll down. Exhale as you finish. Let's go into the other version for stretch. Inhale, hold your breath, go up and overhead. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, roll the spine away from your heels. Get longer, longer, longer. Think about pushing down and then exhale, finish. Come back home. One more, inhale. Lengthen up and over. Bend, exhale, inhale. Keep gluing those heels together and lengthen, 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 lengthen. Really think about getting down as much as you can. Big, big stretch and finish. Exhale. Going into coordination, you'll grab your handles, two finger pinch on your leather strap if you have it, just kind of like this. Hopefully you can see. Take them off of your feet. Let the leather strap fall through the handle. Elbows down by your sides and you're up. Inhale, press it out. Open, close. Exhale, bend. Reach your arms a little longer. Bend those elbows. Inhale out. Open, close. Exhale, bend. Bend your elbows. Inhale out. Open, close. Bend, pull through your stomach here. Pull and pull and pull. Now just come to 90. And again, inhale. Open, close. Exhale. Come to 90. Last one, inhale. Hold your breath. Bend the knees, exhale. Come to 90 and lower all the way down. Put your handles onto your pegs. Bring yourself up, set up for long box. So because we're staying on the reformer and we're not switching over to the ladder barrel for swan, we'll do a more, less advanced version of swan here. So you're going to put your foot bar up and you're going to go onto one heavy spring and then you're going to lie onto your stomach. And if you need a pad, that's fine if you're very slippery. We'll, we'll see how I do. So the, we're going to work into the upper back here first. So lift your elbows, try to bring your forehead over the foot bar and Think about tucking the pelvis under and then lengthening just enough to find balance between the pelvis. Press out, inhale. Now I, I want you to push the bar away and lift up just to try and feel your upper back. And then I want you to bend those elbows wide and keep trying to pull your chest through your hand, like over that foot bar and back down. And again, out, lift, find that upper back so you might need to scoop under a little more here to get out of the lower back and then pull and try to get equal weight in both arms and down now we'll lift the whole body take it out inhale lift lift tuck the pelvis under a little bit more here to not just get into your lower back and down last time reach it inhale lift exhale and down step off to the side and you will lower your foot bar you are on one spring still, setting up for a pull strap. So you're gonna lie on your stomach facing that other direction. And you can bring your chest on the box. I'm gonna wear my handles like a bracelet just so they don't scrape on the floor, especially with the echo in this room. <laughs> All right, so my hands are at the rivets right now and I'm gonna let my body go down. Actually, I'm gonna reach a little bit above. It's up to you if you want, want that extra pull. Now I want you to really rotate your legs internally so that they're parallel, not this way just enough and then wrap the glutes in opposition now you're reaching down to the floor pulling your chest forward imagine you're scraping your nose on the mat in front of you and you're lifting and i want you to find your upper back and then come back down and lengthen 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 all the way down inhale to go up exhale back down and inhale same thing you're going to tuck a little bit more as you go up to try and press your chest forward and then come back down. Going into your T-pull, you're going to slide your hands down, arms out to the side. And now you're not so far down. You're a little bit more in line or a lot more in line as best you can be. And you're going to pull back 
like you're scraping your knuckles against the wall and then you're coming back just enough and again inhale reach pull back lift and come back one more inhale maybe you tuck your pelvis under a little more exhale come back both handles into one hand step off to the side going into backstroke Whew, this is the first like thing i'm doing since getting this cold and uh, <clears throat> i'm feeling it okay so backstroke i added a spring so i have two heavy springs on for wear and tear i have it on the outside and then you take your handles behind your back make sure they're not crossed well, one handle behind your back and make sure they're not crossed fist fist foot foot get your booty all the way to the front end lie down and go ahead and bring your knuckles together over your forehead you can do a diamond shape too if that's what you were taught now from here inhale straight up open to a v exhale press and try to push into your straps a little deeper and come back inhale up open exhale here push 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 forward and come back up open circle reach and back one more inhale exhale here and bring it back all right you're going to swivel around so take both handles into one hand grab the side swivel yourself so you can take a spring off and swivel yourself back and now position yourself so your head and neck is off of the box for teasers okay so these are going to be quite challenging for me but we got this right from here inhale you're going to lift your head exhale you're going to teaser up whoa 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 sammy from here you're going to lower and lift the arms three times three and up two and up one and up and now lengthen to lower down <laughs> try to do better than i did and come all the way down i gotta go a little to the a little to the right there here we go pull back through your stomach inhale exhale uh, again three times three because this is hard enough for me at least if you want to do something fancier do it two one now start going down inhale reach push into your straps push into your straps push into your straps exhale all the way down and again inhale lift your head exhale tease her up let's go three and lift two and lift woo, woo, woo. one lift and start going down inhale push push into your straps more exhale all the way down dump the straps into the well nice and carefully sorry for the echo i'm trying curl up into your one uh, leg stretch let's go into a quick ab series inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale he exhale one more inhale exhale bend both knees double leg inhale reach exhale hug inhale reach now try not to do this as you come around to hug inhale reach now press curl up curl up to hug again inhale wrap those glutes here exhale hug one more scissors you can grab your ankle your calf or your thigh wherever you can reach pull in in switch in in switch in 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 in, in. one more each leg now go ahead and reach it up hands behind the head palm over palm curl up nice and high right in those ribs lower the legs three two one up on one lower three two one up on one three two one lift one more because i'm dying crisscross bend one knee and twist up and over twist think armpit to knee armpit yep one more each side and Bring yourself up, step off to the side, grab some water. I need some. Holy moly. Let's turn it. You can put it over the shoulder blocks, just not over those metal hooks. And this pull, the dowel, if you have it, we'll use it. And then do outside springs for stability. Now, to get on the equipment here, you pick up the strap and you put your farthest foot away from you in sit 
other foot in. That way, you're not like up here trying to dig for it. All right, feet are hip distance parallel. It's about two fist distance. Pressing open, wrapping the glutes. And you're going to go ahead and take one arm around your waist, or rib, and the other arm around your hip. Waist, hip. Yeah. Okay. Chin to the chest. You're starting with your round back. Inhale to go backwards. Exhale, come back up. Now, really try to pull over the bottom rib, over your hip bones. And then again, inhale, go back. Exhale to come up. Inhale. Exhale. Grab your dowel. Arms come up. Same thing, wrapping those glutes right under your butt cheek. Wrap out and around and press open with your legs. Now, inhale, go back. Exhale, come up and a little forward and pull this lower, lower stomach back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now lengthen, sit up slightly into the wind and go over to one side. Now I'm kind of not directly over to the side, but just a little bit towards that front angle. And now you want to make sure you're not sinking. So you're really trying to lift and anchor the opposite hip down. Come back up over to the other side. Lengthen the underside of your body as well and come back up. Reach, 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 opposite hip down and up. So you're kind of trying to make sure that your both side bodies are kind of equal and it's a lot of muscular work. Yes, it is. All right, now you're gonna twist in the ribs. Make sure one leg didn't pull back, yeah? So kind of try and pay attention to that. You're gonna twist. Now hinge back. Up, center, twist. Take it back, exhale, inhale, and center, twist. Take it back, up and center, twist, take it back, up, and center. Go ahead and set your pole underneath you. And actually, I might be really stiff for this because I just got back from Italy. But um, we're going to try it if you have the flexibility. If not, just leave it out and you'll grab behind your leg. And uh, I might join you there in a second. So you're going to sit up nice and tall. You're going to start with limbering. You're going to reach it up and back in up and back in take it up walk your foot just a little bit across and turn the inner thigh to face you from here chin onto your chest try to keep your body even and take it back reach through the opposite leg that's in the strap and come back up it's going to be a juicy stretch but what i like about this is that it kind of helps you stay a little bit more balanced and I can't go very far here but I'm okay with that now push push your foot that's on the pole into it and pull your stomach back in opposition and you'll open up that lower back one more time as you go back you're gonna reach the opposite leg keep wrapping those glutes a bit and then you're gonna come forward and you're gonna pull back through your stomach and open your chest and push into the bar Oh my gosh, that felt really good. All right, so now I'm going to my left side and they're, they're just not considered equal. So again, you can grab under your thigh or you can put your foot right into the center to start. And then you're going to start with limbering. Sorry, I forgot what we were doing. I was like, wait, <laughs> here we go. You lift and you bend. This side is quite hard. See how I'm not even able to really sit up tall. So I'm gonna try and sit up taller and maybe not straighten my leg and come back and again and now I'm going to take that leg over turn the inner thigh to face me and chin on my chest now as I go back I want to keep my arms pretty even and lengthen through my opposite leg hoo, hoo, hoo. come up push my foot forward and round my spine and pull my stomach back and again take it back this side is a million times harder I didn't have that hip fully down, woof. And as I go forward, I'm gonna pull my lower stomach back 
and push my foot forward because that's going to help my hip stay ah forward as best as i can. i'll take it a little more across lengthen through your opposite leg and come back up and pull through your lower stomach push your foot forward and lower it down step off all right so you're gonna put your box away and your pole away you're gonna set up for your long stretch series now if you'd like this would be the time to put your sticky pad in foot bar up you stay on two springs head rest up and you can put your sticky pad if you'd like for your feet oh my goodness the dust in germany i think it's because there's no air conditioning and so like the circulation is is not there creating so much dust okay enough about that okay so head rest is up foot bar is up when your hands are grabbing the foot bar make sure that your thumbs are not wrapped around that is considered an illegal hand grip just because it's more likely that you'll you might pull up on it if your bar is if your equipment is classical and you're you don't have locks so without the locks be really careful even if your equipment does have locks you're like oh it doesn't matter if one day you go and take class from somewhere um you want to be in a good habit all right hand foot toes like the the ball of the crease where, between the toes and the ball of the foot is in the crease of the headrest hand foot hand foot hand foot all right now you can be parallel or you can be in a slight pilates stance and from here you're going to press it out inhale exhale come in and again press it out and come in let's reverse the breath let's exhale inhale exhale inhale one more make sure you're pushing out with your glutes as much as you are with your arms and using your stomach i wasn't lower your knees down for down stretch push your feet against the shoulder blocks really try to stretch your toes here even try to get your pinky toe down and then still wrapping those glutes bring it forward lift up still have energy back into your heels inhale press back exhale lift the chest inhale exhale now tuck the pelvis under a little bit more and lift your chest one more remember to get that upper back which i really need you have to make small adjustments in your pelvis all right keep the carriage closed float the hips up for up stretch slide your uh, heels three quarters of the way up or a quarter of the way down however you want to think about it try to make sure that you're right in the middle from here dive the head down and lift and rotate your forearms or forearms your triceps down and in towards each other now press out with your glutes and hamstrings and then come in keep your head down come all the way forward now keep it closed and lift up now try to find balance between the lower stomach and the upper stomach press glutes and hamstrings come back in float it up press and come back in and up press and come back in and float let's go elephant so you'll slide your heels down and you're going to scoop and find balance between the lower stomach and the upper stomach head is down toes are up try to lift your pinky toes as well press it back close three two one take it back on one try to deepen those lower abs and exhale close 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 take it out pull through that stomach exhale 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 one more and pull it in now just for variation there i want you to walk a little forward if you have the flexibility and you're going to lean back send your hip bones up to the ceiling and lift your chest lift the toes pull through that lower stomach and take it back and take it in three two one keep trying to get your sits bones onto the ceiling and make sure that you're still pulled up because otherwise you might injure yourself take it back take it in three two one last time let your body sink down shift and go back and in and in and in walk the heels back lift find that balance press out just three inches or so one leg goes back behind you try to square off your hips and take it in <clears throat> excuse me press it out and take it in 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 and again press it out and take it in 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 one more in 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 press out halfway 
and switch your legs. Stabilize. I need to see what I'm doing. Wear tighter clothes, Sammy. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, wrapping those glutes a bit, finding the balance between both areas. Try to have equal weight on both hands. And out, in, in, in. And again, out, in, in, in. Take it out, in, in, in. Step all the way out to the side. Oh my gosh, that was a lot for my sinuses. Oh, okay, so let's move on. Going into long back stretch, you're going to put hand, hand. Again, no thumbs wrapped around. Foot, foot. You're still on two springs. Now, you're going to bend your elbows, scoop through your pelvis, press out, try to roll the pelvis up and come in. And then untuck. Down, scoop, press, roll the pelvis up, up, up and come in and again down scoop lower stomach lower stomach lower stomach glutes and come all the way back reverse scoop press it out lower come on in stay and up try to stay scooped a little longer than i just did use your glutes press lower down touch but don't sit scoop through the lower stomach through through it through it through it, through it and then untuck and lift last time scoop lower Scoop, 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 untuck, and lift. Let's do five dips here. Five, four, three, two, one. Why not? Step off to the side. Sticky pad moves down. So I have hip issues, and my bar does not go to a low bar, um, like some non-classical equipment. It's just the one. So I'm going to scoop my sticky pad back a little bit, and then I'm going to add two springs. All right. Let's do hand, hand on the shoulder blocks. Foot, foot, heels together, toes apart. Scooch down and grab the front edge. High heels. Now press it out. Lower lift. Come back in. Press. And you only come in as much as you can stay lifted on your sits bones versus being so far back. Out. In. You press. Lower lift and in. Press. I was kind of speeding. And in. Press. Lower lift and in. Press, lower, lift. Take off the spring in between your legs if you can. Reach up and around. Grab the shoulder block. So I really like it like this. This is like a long bed though. So I can't reach them all that well. And sit up tall. Press, lower, lift, in. So same thing straight back. Think about the top middle of your head lifting. See, I needed to lift up a little bit. At least I think so. When you don't have anyone correcting you, you know, you do the best you can. One more. Now, you take off a spring, reach forward, press, lift, come in, try to stay lifted, press. And if you feel like you're lifting from your shoulders, try flipping your palms up and reaching them one on top of the other. Sometimes that helps, and now it'll help you lift out of your back. All right, now, press out, twist. Let's just keep the palms up. Do the equal pressure on both legs. Yeah, think about it. Press, twist, come back. Try to make that more at the same time. Not like I was. Last one here, because I can't continue to talk. Come all the way in and step off. Okay, put your sticky pad away. Go ahead and hook up your extension straps if you don't have the, if you have leather straps, you don't have the long and short loop. So go put the extension straps through the leather and through the handle. And then you're going to set up four semicircles. You, if you have a block, you can put the block in. I'm not going to use my block today, mainly because we still haven't done packs since we moved here. And if you don't know, we just moved to Germany because we're a military family and we still don't know where things are. Um, so I'm not going to use one, but if you have a block, you would put it in the back. And if you'll lower the foot bar, you're going to stay on two springs. And then you're going to come all the way down. Okay, so there's two ways that you can do this. I'm going to teach you a new way. So heels together, toes apart. You're sitting up, and you want to leave them like that. Now you're going to push the carriage back and lower down so that you have less to slide out. And now you can push into the outsides. You can make fists, which is what I'm going to do, just because 
this is quite long, even though i have a long torso or you can push like this, which is actually really nice also because it connects more of your body all right, so you're up you're in here we go lower the heels get your glutes involved roll down but try to leave the chest up and you're in a wide pilates stance so now lift the chest and let the glutes hang down press out about three quarter length start with the lower stomach to roll you up keep pushing into your shoulder blocks so that they don't move and then keep your chest up come on in and as you come forward you're going to keep the chest lifted and lifted and lifted until you can close it in a perfect world. Press the heels, use your glutes, keep your chest up because you're trying to get more length. Press it out, scoop, get that chest up and come in. Keep using your glutes, squeezing your heels. Other way, stay up, push the heels down. Now, press out, roll down. Chest is pulling up, pushing with your arms. Come all the way in as far as you can roll it up try to keep the heels down and then lift them to finish coming in press it out take it down Whew, I need to get out of this position for my sinuses all the way up come on in and you can pull yourself on close that carriage bring yourself up get a sip of water because i can't go into the next thing yet <laughs> okay so now your headrest is up these are all set up you're just going to put them on your feet still on two springs and of course if you did not get up to get water because you're feeling more dandy than i am then awesome so we're going into my hair we're going into leg circles and frogs and you're going to bring your feet again to your straps heels together toes apart and Get those uh, ankles in line with your uh, knees and let's put the straps on the middle of the foot and I want you to try and keep it on the middle of the foot. Glue those heels together, press it out and come back and I'm going to spread my toes wide and come back. You don't necessarily have to. My pinky toes are so curled under that um, they need more straightening than rounding and you come back and you want your ankles in line with your knees press it out and back oh don't do that don't don't lose your connection press it out and back one more stay out turn parallel try to keep it on the middle of your foot oh yeah yeah leg circles so i'm going to go into a slightly turned out get your heels together find the wrap and then go parallel without losing the wrap if that makes sense to you. If not, just continue. Up, open. Let's not go wider than the reformer. And when you come up, you want to make sure that you're not taking your booty with you. So you're going to put it down. As you go down, you're going to have to pull back a little deeper so that this doesn't happen. Because we don't want to go like this and move our pelvis all the way around, even though it might look like fun. We want to keep the pelvis as still as we can let's go five in the other direction five keep wrapping and hugging everything into your midline what's the midline Sammy good question it's this imaginary line that runs down the center of your body that you really want to keep hugging into bend your knees take the straps off knees into your chest lower it down carefully dump those into the well bring your body up stay on two springs put the foot bar up knee stretches you're gonna come hand to hand foot foot hand foot hand foot I get on get on all right now from here you're gonna sit back you're really pulling that lower lower pelvic floor area in and now you're finding balance through the upper part you're gonna push back and come in so now when you push back you got to use the back of your legs and glutes and pull in through that stomach so stay connected the whole time out in out try not to let your shoulders creep up out in out close it close it try not to bob your pelvis this way push and close push close 
now come all the way in lift to your arch back same thing remember just because you're in this extended position doesn't mean you're letting letting it all hang out okay back even though i want to from all the pasta i was eating it feels so much easier to let it all hang out i'm gonna try even harder now one more hold scoop try to find that scoop of this inner part and the upper part maybe you lift your knees up and you go maybe you just try to lift your knees up we're just doing five because that's all i can do if you can do more oh, please do more step off to the side back to four heavy springs or whatever you started on so if you did start on less feel free to go to less lower yourself down come onto your back for running you're going to bring your feet one fist distance apart try to get your pinky toes up there press it out and let's go for that run make sure you are centered with your feet and one leg goes down and then you lift both up the other leg goes down and you lift both up now pay attention to if one's rolling in what's happening in your legs because you don't want to be wiggling your hips so as one goes down your goal find where your hip bones are even and then you're going to just move through the ankles this is definitely easier said than done don't expect me to demonstrate it perfectly because i am not a god switch switch but trying to keep this very still should work all of your legs because it's working mine hold one heel down walk your foot up a little if you want feel free to get a deeper stretch into the calf hmm both feet on other side try to always make sure one foot's on before you let go of the other otherwise you're gonna scare the life out of yourself and everybody else in the pilates room you might be in hmm. both toes on lift come all the way in let's go pelvic lift arches go to the outside of the foot bar wrapped like a bird on a perch now you're going to lift your pelvis up and then try to when you're just your pelvis is up try to lengthen your pubic bone ever so slightly press it out because if you're like this yours will you don't want to lengthen ever so slightly you want to lengthen a lot okay and come back and use your glutes as you go out you might lift a little bit more as you come in you want to create a crease right in here and pull yourself in lift your chest so you're not sinking shrug your shoulders gently into your shoulder blocks and come back one more and come back lower it all the way down come on up take off the two inside springs for kneeling front splits you're going to come onto your knees whoa don't hit your feet push your feet back against the shoulder blocks try to get your pink toes down wrap those glutes now you're going to put your right foot on the ball of your foot in between your hands and you're going to keep that carriage closed this knee is going to go forward lift your chest now you're only pushing the back leg back so you're not letting that front leg move you are pushing back through your heel moving the carriage just enough opening up the front of that hip and then you're coming back so you are really trying to push the hips forward and come back press forward press now stay there push the right hand to the outside of the right knee push the knee into your hand the hand into your knee connect arm and ear lift up keep everything nice and tight and connected and try to stretch over ever so slightly to the right side come back up balance challenge you know bring it in close the carriage put that foot down get it all back other foot goes up in the middle same thing lifting your chest and you press back hip goes forward you might have one tie tie one tie tighter than the other one side tighter than the other equally okay and push back and come in equally okay i mean they're not equally okay but you know we all have a good side and a bad side keep it out left hand left knee push the hand and the knee together that's going to help square you off and stabilize you arm up connect arm and ear stretch Ooh, push knee to hand hand to knee knee to hand hand to knee ah there it is come back up put your foot down go ahead and bring that foot down step off stand up tall roll your shoulders up and back three times three 
and two, and one. You, my friends, are all done. I hope you are sweaty and messy like me because we're not here to look pretty. We're here to work out. And I hope you enjoyed that. Feel free to you know, tell me in the comments if you had any trouble and you need some help or what you want to see next. Um, and I will see you next time for something that has to do with Pilates. Bye, you guys. Thank you.